Hello and welcome. We are here at Embedded World and today we'll be discussing our Flutter demo. My name is Peter. And I'm Hannes. So first off, I'm going to be asking Hannes some questions about the demo. Um, Hannes, what is this? What board are we running? Yeah, so this is a Texas Instruments board that's called uh, AM6254. Uh, and it's a new hardware platform by Texas Instruments. And we had a project with them where we made Flutter run on that board and also optimized the performance of it. Yeah. Okay, and how does Flutter run on this board? Do I just install it or how do I do it? Um, <laughs> so we built the image for it using Yocto. And there's a, a specific Yocto meta layer that allows Flutter to run uh, on, a, on a Yocto image. It's called Meta Flutter. And uh, we use the Flutter Pi embedder, just uh, developed by me, to make Flutter run on this, on this hardware. Is that what this sticker is for? That's what this sticker is for, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's just Flutter Pi. Just Pi. <laughs> What else, like I, I heard that you had some issues with performance when you just started off? Yeah, originally uh, the performance was not that good. Um, we had like 10 FPS in some basic demo apps. And um, then we investigated the performance and could improve it up to now it's running pretty smoothly at 60 FPS. And um, yeah, the issue was actually uh, inside Skia, which which is a library that Flutter used for rendering generally. And uh, yeah, Skia uh, detected the GPU on there and automatically enabled some, some workarounds, um, which were unnecessary and really uh, destroyed the performance and we fixed that and now it's running smoothly. No, I can see it's running quite. I like the way it... Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Pisa, you you developed this demo application? Yes. So, we did it. Um, I had some help from designers <laughs> and also some of my colleagues. Yeah. Um, but basically, yeah, we developed this demo application. Yeah. Um, so, okay. So, here's some graphs. Like, um, how are you reading the CPU utilization, but... Okay, so the CPU utilization, um, that's getting everything in Linux as a file. So we just read that file and we display it on the graph. Um, you can yeah. you can do a load test here. Press the button and it will load some things into memory. Okay. And also RAM. And so, uh, I mean, the, the graphs look pretty smooth, but uh, uh, how, how do they work, the graphs? Like... So initially we had some, some problems with the graphs and um, we were repainting, redrawing them a lot. And then we came up with a little trick where basically we render the graph longer and then we scroll it in. And then while we're scrolling it, we, um, we render the new graph or draw it. And then we swap them out at the last second. And that okay. delivers a smooth graph. <laughs> but, uh, how do you get, where do you get the CPU temperature from? So we use a library um, called uh, dot periphery, and that reads uh, the values over I2C from various temperature sensors we have on board. Well, in this case, it's the CPU temperature sensor. Okay. Well, and those, those are probably uh, using I2C as well, right? Yes, it's uh, current monitors that are installed on different power lines and... With them. Yeah, that seems, seems pretty low, the power consumption. Yeah, this is a pretty low power board and it's very efficient it, uh, as you can see it doesn't need a, a fan or anything it just right it's true yeah it was like what was it 37 degrees yeah what what does this do if i put you anything here what's happening here okay so i don't know if you understand morse code but <laughs> yeah you can adjust the speed and uh -huh. then you press on one button and it's gonna give you some Morse code. I'm not sure if the camera can see the text on screen, but if you can't, you can read the Morse code. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Ja, het oude, oude twee, twee Carval GPL van, van Slesa. Wat well, is dat voor? Zo. So, basically, there is een library um, called Flutter GPIO. Um, also, the, the author is sitting here next to me. <laughs> Fantastic library. <laughs> And it allows you to flash the LED at whichever way you want. No, I'm too cool. By the way, it's all dot. I didn't have to touch any C C plus plus code. All that was handled by the library. Cool. And those are material widgets? Yes, this is the material three widgets that come with uh Flutter. And if you can look here, it's quite very neat. Um you've got some sliders. And everything is very smooth on this UI, as you can see. Um, some switches, time selector. Oh, okay, yeah. If you have an Android phone, this really cool. might look familiar. <laughs> so, okay, yeah, that looks pretty nice. It runs pretty smoothly on the other. Yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed with how smoothly this runs. Yeah. Should maybe call it butter pie instead of butter pie. Okay, yeah, was nice talking to you, Peter. Nice talking to you as well. <laughs> Bye-bye, see you. <laughs> Wiedersehen. <laughs>